It's been a few weeks now since the M2 Mac Mini was released, and of course every review is raving about how amazingly fast, powerful and game-changing it is. In reality though, it's a very minor 10-15% speed bump over the M1 Mac Mini. And in that same time, Intel have increased the speed of their CPUs by more than 250%. What this means is that in just over two years, Apple has gone from being 60% faster than the Intel Core i5 in late 2020 to being nearly 50% slower than the i5 in 2023. When Apple's M1 Mac Mini was released just over two years ago, the performance blew people away. At the time, Intel was selling their 10th generation CPUs, known as Comet Lake. Compared to a mid-range Intel Core i5-10500, the base Apple M1 was over 60% faster in both single-core and multi-core performance, while consuming only a fraction of the power. Intel's 11th gen Rocket Lake processors released in 2021 closed the gap between the i5 and M1, reducing it from 60% to only 5%. And then Intel's 12th gen Alder Lake appeared in January 2022, giving Intel the lead, with the i5-12500 beating the base M1 by about 10%. M2 finally appeared in June, but it was only enough to give Apple a narrow 5% lead over the i5-12500. And then last month, Intel's 13th Gen i5 appeared, with massive performance improvements over the previous generation, and it just wipes the floor with the M2, being more than 50% faster. A look at the Cinebench scores reveals a similar story. We've gone from the M1 being almost on a par with the Core i5 in late 2020, to the i5 being two and a half times faster than the M2 in early 2023. And to make the situation worse, Intel's 14th gen CPUs are expected later in 2023, with Intel claiming an 18% increase in performance per watt. Assuming a similar TDP, that would put the i5 at nearly three times the speed of the M2. And the situation isn't any better in the higher end CPUs. With Intel's 13th Gen Core i7 beating both the 10-core and 12-core versions of the M2 Pro and Geekbench 6 by a large margin, and being over double the speed of the M2 Pro in Cinebench R23. So, given Intel's massive speed gains, the M2 Mac Mini's small speed bump over the M1 is disappointing. Between the end of 2020 and the beginning of 2023, Intel's mid-range Core i5 has seen a performance increase of 266%, while the performance from the M1 to the M2 in the same time period is just 18% according to Apple, or 11% according to Geekbench 6 and Cinebench. If Apple wants to remain competitive with Intel on desktop, then they really need to pull something special out of the bag with the M3. Assuming that the M3 appears in early 2024, then it needs to be at least double the performance of the M2. Considering that by then, Intel will have already released their 14th gen CPUs and the 15th gen Arrow Lake will be imminent. A 10 to 20% speed bump every couple of years just isn't going to cut it. That's it for this video, thanks for watching.